Welcome to the newsroom on TV360 Nigeria. I am Esther Vesey. The European Union have expressed concerns over what it described as interference in Nigeria's democratic process. The international body in a statement specifically raised concerns about the siege on the National Assembly by the Department of State Services. The body, however, reiterated its commitment to Nigeria's democracy and commended the Nigerian government for its swift reaction. Meanwhile, Senator Issa Misao has challenged the APC leader, Bola Tinubu, to provide evidence of his allegations that some senators are plotting to impeach Buhari. Tinubu made the allegation at the formal presentation of former Akwaibom State Governor Gottswil Akpabio to the APC supporters in the state. And for the second time, Senator Dino Malaya has failed to appear in court over charges bordering on gun running levied against him and two others. When the case was called on on Wednesday, his lawyer, Barrister Yemi Mohammed, who stood in for Chief Mike Ozekome, a senior advocate of Nigeria, told the court that his clients could not be present in court on health grounds. The judge has now adjourned till August 21. On a sad note, Bayelsa State Governor Sarake Dixon has lost his mother, Gold Coast Dixon, to a long battle with cancer. The governor, in a statement signed by his chief press secretary, Francis Ota Abo, said she passed on at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center, Houston, Texas, where she was receiving treatment in the early hours of Thursday. The Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Ibe Kachuku, has challenged the Nigerian LNG Limited to expand its liquefied natural gas production capacity to 40 million tons per annum over the next 30 years. He said this would enable the country to secure a significant share in the global LNG market and help with domestic supply of the commodity in line with the company's vision to help build a better Nigeria. The minister, according to a statement, stated this during a visit to the LNG plants on Bunny Island in River State. On the international scene, landslides resulting from heavy rains have killed at least 20 people in southern India, increasing the death toll in the nationwide monsoon to over 700 this year alone. State authorities have now been forced to declare an alert following official forecast of heavy rains in the region for another 48 hours. In Zimbabwe, the United Nations Refugee Agency says it is gravely concerned by reports that a senior Zimbabwean politician was refused asylum in Zambia and was sent back to his own country. The international body, in a statement on Thursday, said the action is a serious violation of international law. Zimbabwean police took former finance minister and opposition leader Tendai Biti into custody on Thursday after Zambian authorities rejected his bid for asylum and deported him. In sports, Costa Rican goalkeeper Keylor Navas has ruled out leaving Real Madrid. The 32-year-old is set to be replaced as first-choice keeper by new signing Thibaut Courtois, but he insisted he will stay and fight for his place in the squad. Jose Mourinho has taken a swipe at Manchester United's detractors a day ahead of his side's Premier League opener at home to Leicester City. The United's boss about to begin his third season has caught a disgruntled figure during the summer, apparently unhappy with the club's transfer window activity. Well, that's the latest from our newsroom on TV360 Nigeria. Thank you very much for watching. I am Esther Vesey.